I know someone who started reading the book of Revelation a number of years ago, and he was excited to learn more about it, so he approached his pastor and brought up the possibility of maybe preaching the book of Revelation at some point. I'm going to tell you how this conversation went, which is really quite shocking. But listen to it carefully and see if you can pick up the things that I picked up from it. And then after I say what happened in this conversation, I'm going to communicate the things that I picked up from this. So he was excited about learning more about the book of Revelation. So he went to his pastor and he said to him, is it possible to preach on this at some point uh, in the future or even if it was on a Wednesday night service or whatever, whatever setting it was in because I'd love to learn more about it. And he said that when he asked this question, the pastor became a bit defensive. And um, the pastor said to him, oh, you know, the book of Revelation, it's, it's very difficult to understand even for, for pastors, um, let alone for other people. Um, and uh, he was very hesitant to want to preach on it or anything like that. Um, so the person quotes this, Revelation chapter 1, 3, Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and keep what is written in it. He says, well, the, the, the book says there's a special blessing here for those who um, read the book of Revelation. Um, and apparently he said that the pastor got started to get more and more closed off and rude as the conversation went on. And the pastor says to him, oh, you know, I've, I've got an idea. And, and he smirks. He goes, how, how about you stick to the Gospels? They um, are about Jesus. They're easy to understand. And they don't offend the masses. And then the pastor, who really didn't want to be in that conversation and, and was quite rude, turned away immediately and walked off. This person wanted to continue the conversation but didn't have the opportunity to do so. And he was left feeling very, very disappointed um, and hurt by what had happened. So what do you take away from this? For me, there's a few things. First of all, the book of Revelation is about Jesus. So I don't know why he's saying the Gospels are about Jesus. The book of Revelation is, is also about Jesus. Um, second of all, you see that his main concern is that the book of Revelation will be too offensive for people. It'll be too difficult for people to stomach. When was that ever a reason to not preach something, especially God's inspired word? Um, what I also take away from that is that he says that the gospels are not offensive. Maybe the way that he's preaching the gospels are not offensive um, if he's preaching God's blessing and provision, but the gospels are very offensive. Jesus uh, lost the majority of his followers by what he preached because his words were too difficult for them. He says that um, anyone who, who comes after him must lay down his life, take up his cross and follow him. He says that if you don't love him more than mother and father and family, then you're not worthy to be his disciple. He says whoever loses his life will find it. He says that the lights come into the world, but the darkness hates the light because the light exposes the darkness, which is the evil of people here. It's a very offensive message to the carnal man. Um, and lastly, the thing that I take away from the conversation is that um, the pastor becomes very rude and closed off and walks away and gets himself out of the situation because it's very uncomfortable for him. He's basically telling this person, um, I don't want to preach part of God's word because of the way people might respond to it. And that's how a lot of pastors will deal with it. They'll sort of just try to wipe their hands off it, walk away, and he knows it. He can't answer that verse where it says that there's a special blessing for reading aloud this, this uh, book. So um, it's really quite terrible. And the, the main problem here is that these types of pastors are ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is a power of salvation to those who believe. Sadly, these pastors are putting all of their hope in trying to preach a soft message that promotes the benefits of following Christ and the blessings rather than communicating the costs of following Christ and the hard truth that Jesus preached. So for them, um, the gospel is actually an embarrassment and they don't believe in the power of the gospel to convict hearts. Rather, they want to shield people from being offended, which means that they never hear the true gospel and can never be saved. So what's really interesting as well is that when I started um, to go to my recent church, the very first series was an expository preaching through the book of Revelation, which was very encouraging. 
Um, it was a huge contrast to what I'd been used to um, in my previous church and what many people were used to in the churches that they're attending. So what do you think of this? What's the most shocking thing that you take away from this? I'd love to hear your comments below. This person was left um, very hurt, very upset, as you could imagine, and very let down uh, by his pastor, which of course he was. But leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you think.